today we'll discuss about waves of ecg this is ecg it has as you all know p wave qrs complex t wave and u wave let us start with the p wave you can see here in the diagram it is a positive wave which is directed upward and it is rounded it is because of atrial depolarization and spread of the impulse from sa node to atrial muscle duration of p wave that is about 0.1 second and amplitude is 0.1 to 0.12 millivolt what is the clinical significance amplitude of the p wave it denotes functional activity of atrial muscles in case of left atrial hypertrophy p wave is large and prolonged whereas in case of right atrial hypertrophy p wave is tall and peaked next is qrs complex which has q wave r wave and s wave now qrs complex it is due to ventricular depolarization and its duration is 0.08 second amplitude of qrs complex is about 1.5 to 1.6 millivolt and it is completed just before the opening of semilunar valve now q wave that is small negative deflection and amplitude of q wave is less than 0.2 millivolt duration of q wave that is less than 0.04 second and beginning of q wave that represents invasion of mid portion of the interventricular septum by excitation q wave may not be visible always next is r wave that is prominent positive deflection and the upstroke of the r wave it coincide with onset of ventricular systole and it represents excitation process which invading both the ventricles amplitude of the r wave is not more than 2.5 millivolt and it denotes functional activity of ventricles next is s wave that is negative deflection after r wave and it represents excitation of more basal parts of the ventricle you can see here this is q wave small r wave and s wave okay duration of qrs complex as we have discussed that is from beginning of q wave to the end of the s wave and normal duration of qrs complex that is 0.08 to 0.12 second when the duration is more than 0.12 second it indicates heart block now what is the clinical significance of qrs complex deep q wave when it is more than 0.2 millivolt along with other changes that is the sign of myocardial infarction tall r wave is present in ventricular hypertrophy and low voltage qrs complex is present in hypothyroidism and in pericardial effusion now prolonged qrs complex that is found in bundle branch block next is t wave that is again positive deflection and it represents ventricular repolarization T wave is present in the same direction of QRS complex because ventricular repolarization follows a path which is opposite to the depolarization. Now, duration of T wave is 0.27 second and amplitude is 0.3 millivolt. End of the T wave coincides with closure of semilunar valve. Clinical significance: flat T wave which indicates insufficient oxygen supply to the myocardium. an inverted t wave that is an important sign of myocardial ischemia and infarction tall and peaked t wave indicates hyperkalemia next is u wave that is small rounded positive wave and that is because of slow repolarization of papillary muscles duration of u wave is 0.08 seconds and amplitude is 0.2 millivolt and it is rarely seen normally and if it is prominent it indicates hypokalemia so this is all about waves of ecg thank you